There won't be a deal signed in the White House on Friday. But there could be an agreement for a framework going forward where people are empowered to have that kind of conversation behind closed doors. And it could take as little as 90 days. That's very positive, I think. And it also sends a signal that the United States is behind Great Britain in its hour of need. If we think about the EU's position, the EU has made it clear that Britain cannot negotiate in any substantial way free trade deals with other countries until it has officially left the European Union, which is two years away. What do you think of that position? Well, I think it's an absurd proposition. It may be a legalism. There are going to be all kinds of things happening behind closed doors, and you can call them what you like. And would that be official? Would that be quiet? Would it, again, behind closed doors? Would the EU be involved? Of course not. Do you think there will be a free trade deal with the UK before any free trade deal between America and the rest of the European Union? Well, I, I think that goes you know, without question. The trade deal that is underway with the rest of Europe is literally DEAD. So the prospects for a UK-US trade deal, I think, are enhanced and are likely to come at the very point in time, two years from now, when Britain leaves the European Union. Do you think a free trade deal between America and the European Union will ever be signed? Uh, I personally am not certain that there will be a European Union with which to have such negotiations. Uh, will there be potentially numerous bilateral agreements with various European countries? I think the prospect, again, in a changed political reality, is greater for that. Well, do you think the European Union could break apart? Well, I think people are talking about the redefinition of the European Union, whether it's a core number of countries and a periphery that moves aside, key people that stay in the Union, others that fall away. <clears throat> These are decisions that are going to be made by European people in democratic elections over the course of the next 18 months. And a number of these elections, frankly, are coming as soon as the next few months. So our eyes should be wide open. Do you think the single currency can survive? But the one thing I would do in 2017 is short the euro. I think it is a currency that is in not only demise, but that uh, has a real problem and could, in fact, collapse in the coming year, year and a half. Now, I'm not the only person or economist of that point of view. Someone as acclaimed as Joseph Stieglitz, the famous uh, uh, World Bank economist, has written an entire book on this subject.